I am so deeply honored to be here with you tonight. I have a lot of things I would like to talk with you about. Um, I feel very humbled being in this room with this person behind the screen. <laughs> And I am also very humbled to be here with all of you. It is an honor for any human being to speak to a large group of people and to have them listen and understand. This is a precious, precious thing for all of us. My professor at university taught me about art. What is art? And he showed me ways I could perfect my own work. This is something that human beings have done forever in history. All of history is this incredible moving image. A great scholar once said that the continuous river of life suggests a hidden source. Something mysterious is driving all of us. Where, we don't know. And of course, one of the most famous, me famous metaphors of the river comes from the Greeks, from Hades, the underground river that flows through the land of the dead. They call it the river of forgetfulness because when we die and go into that river, when we come up on the other side, we forget everything. This is a piece I did in 2000. It's called The Quintet of the Astonished. You've been watching it for about eight minutes or so. And it's a group of people, five people. And they start very simply. There's no pressure. They're just standing normally. Very, very slowly, they feel something inside themselves, coming up inside themselves and growing. And they become stronger, but they also become more um, in pain. They feel emotion coming into them, coming into their bodies, into their beings, and this changes them in a very profound way. It changes them in a very deep way. And now at the end, they're just coming down off of this wave. It's like a wave traveling through them. We all experience these moments in life where we're stressed, where we're frightened, where we're afraid, where we think, oh, I can't do this. I've had that in my work many, many times. You look at me here and you say, oh, Bill Viola, famous artist. No, there's so much difficulty behind what we do. So many times I made work that I wasn't really very happy with. It was not good. So you just put those away. And you don't like it because you want to make something good. So you have to be able to keep moving forward. And they will recover they will be okay, it's fine. This will come down and down and then become normal. When 9-11 um, happened in America, we had uh, installed a work at the Metropolitan Museum, one of the biggest museums uh, in New York, if not the biggest one. And that was about three or four months before 9-11. And then 9-11 happened, and um, 
a piece like this one, I have a, I've made several works with this idea. And there's another piece very much like this um, that was up at the Metropolitan Museum. My grandfather was born in Pavia and um, my mother was born in England. And uh, so I've had a very fortunate existence and I have to say my time in Florence uh, which changed my life because in this beautiful city we have the history of art preserved in an extraordinary way and I find that it's not just the monuments and the statues and the piazzas but the real essence is in the heart and soul of the people of you. So I stand before you humble and um, grateful that I had this experience to come here. And if you told me that one day as an artist I would stand before that man there, I could never imagine it. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you.